Every year, houses get burned down in forest fires. It's just a fact of life. Hello, my name is Travis, and welcome to my project. Year after year, wildfires come and go, and I've been a wild firefighter since the year 2000. That was my first year and things really changed. Early in my career we used to fight fire out here in the woods but anymore it's different. Uh, we see people are starting to move out here and uh, what we call it in the wildfire world is the urban interface, the wildland urban interface. And basically to give you an explanation of what that is you don't already know is we've got the cities and then the suburbs but it's what's beyond the suburbs and everybody wants to move out here into the wild and uh, not everybody can of course but we do but in doing so that raises a few little issues uh, responsibility of the homeowner to protect their homes but even doing so makes it very difficult um, Wildfires come through. As you know, last year in Texas there was all those fires that burned houses down hundreds of homes. This year Colorado had it. There were many, many fires that burned homes. And so, as a wildfire fighter, our objective has changed. Because, yes, we still fight the fires in the woods. But anymore we're doing what we call structure protection. And that's protecting people's homes. And in a year like this and last year when so many homes have burned, uh, and the fires all over the west coast like it was uh, boy I tell you the problem becomes there's not enough resources and to get to the point of what I'm discussing here with you is my project is I need to build a wildland engine it would be a type 6 wildland fire engine it would carry 400 gallons of water and the reason why I want to build this is because this year there weren't enough resources to go around and so protecting people's houses just uh, don't happen and sometimes uh, it's left to pick and choose what you're able to protect and uh, we want to protect everybody's homes we're not always able to do so and so the problem we have is lack of resources on a bad fire season and when we do have resources they're stretched thin and sometimes you have to go from house to house one crew will have to work two or three houses to protect and that's very difficult so I need your help to be able to help me to help others so if you can it'd be great to uh, have your help with my project and uh, you know maybe we can protect people's homes I'd like to tell you now about my perks uh, for my project because um, I don't just expect you to give uh, I'd like to be able to give back to you something in return and there's different levels as you know of perks depending on how much you're able to donate towards my project but I do think I have some really cool uh, perks that I'd like to share with you and for one, for instance when we're on a fire sometimes vendors will come in and they'll set up and they print out t-shirts and sweatshirts here's one of such that I got this year. This is the Yakima Complex. This is a t-shirt. And then on the back, when we were there, they had 95 fires out of one thunderstorm that went through. And these fires turned into some tremendously big fires. And as a perk, depending on how much you're able to donate, I will actually get you, not this specific shirt because it's too late, but when we're on a fire, these vendors when they come around I will get you the shirt and I will send it to you at my cost of course that's one of the perks um, the next level that you donate with the, the other thing that they do is they have sweatshirts and here's one that we got this year and this one was a really nice one because on the back it showed the progress of the fire and the different fires it was a complex and they all burned together and it ended up being a 330,000 acre fire by the time it was all said and done so if you're able to donate these 
then obviously I can't get you these specific shirts like I said but I can get you these type of shirts from different fires now a, a brief word of caution I'm not always able to get these shirts for every fire I'm on but I try and I try to get them for myself because uh, you know you kind of do like to have the memories of your experience there so I will try to get shirts for you personally on each one um, on the fires I'm not able to that's the way it will be but depending on your level of donation will depend on how many you get maybe I'll get one for each fire or maybe it'll only be one for the season and so those are some of the perks but the biggest perk is I may be saving somebody's home maybe even your home so that is priceless in my mind saving someone's home so I hope you support my project well for those of you who checked in and looked in on my project I want to thank you I appreciate that you took the time to look and I'd like to ask that you remember one thing that I can't help you if you don't help me so give some serious thought and uh, I won't be just helping you or me but maybe someone else so it may be someone else's home that gets saved including yours so thank you for looking in I appreciate it